Hi, I'm Brad Kingsley with Kingsley Grinding. I cover Northern California and the Sierra Nevadas, um, doing fuels reduction, mastication services mostly. <laughs> I started uh, working for my father in a logging company about 25 years ago. Um, and then about 18 years ago, I got in with somebody uh, doing mastication services. Um, he was running ASVs with uh, FAE heads. And then I just slowly bought my own machine and then have built up my company over the years. We specialize in doing higher quality jobs. Um, we like to work around residentials or high um, visibility jobs where they need a high-end product. The 175, is uh, that's my preferred machine out on this ground because of its agility, of its size. Um, it's not a real large machine, but it is a very capable machine and powerful, and it can climb. I'm, uh, last project, I was doing 70% slopes, grinding uphill um, with no lugging at all, um, the way it's engineered. The, doesn't take the hydraulic power from the head when you're climbing a steep uh, embankment and we do a lot of that up in Sierra Nevadas. This is a very flat ground and you need a machine that you can be confident in, can go anywhere. Um, it speeds it up, it gives you a better product and uh, you don't rub trees, um, you don't beat the ground up because it's so confident in the way it can climb up a hill. So one of the most impressive things right off the bat to me is how well engineered this is for the forest. Um, some of the other manufacturers, they have a lot of hard angles and thin material um, and it looks fine until you get out in the forest and you don't realize the amount of branches you're going to have to go under, trees you're going to have to go around and slide against. Um, that's just the nature of the game. And when you have all those hard edges, it just tears equipment up. And this is just well engineered to sweep under those trees and sweep trees. And it's just engineered for the forest, which you don't often see in a lot of this equipment. I've run a lot of forestry equipment and logging, um, loaders, uh, skidders, just all kinds of different forestry equipment. Typically you find it crowded in um, you, where you can't get to hoses, they're routed incorrectly, you can't get to wear parts. Uh, they just make everything hard to get to. FAE has considered the accessibility of everything and um, also impressed with, uh, they consider that you will be having to test. There's test ports everywhere for hydraulics if you have to troubleshoot. They're really simple machines to work on. The cab is by far one of the most comfortable cabs in any of those equipment. It's, uh, it's well laid out. The seat is very comfortable. You're able to stretch your legs, which is actually really important on some of this heavier slope. When you're cramped in a machine and you're on heavy slope, uh, by eight hours you're, you're done. Uh, your back hurts, your legs hurt from trying to hold you up. Um, you're just done. And these machines are so comfortable and well laid out. All your gauges are right there where in your, um, your vision so you can keep track of everything, make sure your machine's running properly. Um, it's well sealed, keeps the dust out, keeps you cool, keeps you warm in the winter. All the important things that give you the ability to work for eight or 10 hours and not be over fatigued. Well, uh, Kingsley Grinding just, it stands for a high quality of work. Um, we like to say we're making the ground fire ready with a park-like look. All we do is fuel reduction. Um, we thin um, residential areas in the winter time, and then we do he heavier ground and industrial ground during the summertime. And it's just fire reduction. We're thinning the understory as well as thinning the trees, grinding in the ground. We're kind of simulating um, the same action that fire would take uh, 100 years ago and bringing it down. I love being part of this because I believe it's part of the solution. Um, if you look at the ground around here, this one is in a burn scar, so all the material has been burned off of it about five years ago, so it's just bare dirt and it's baked, and that makes it extra dusty. It just blows out as soon as you're on top of it. This was part of the King Fire about five years ago. It was a devastating fire that started, luckily, our local town where I grew up in um, was mostly spared. A handful of homes were taken, uh, but not too many. And uh, so this is part of, of them attempting to save these small little towns in California that are endangered by these wildfire conditions. There's a lot of them. They've realized they need to do some kind of management. Um, we work with RCD, 
here in El Dorado County and they are doing a really good job of getting grant money and putting together a system of putting these fire breaks in and around small communities because they can't do the whole state very quickly but they can create these fire breaks to save these small communities if a fire does break out. I'm a big <laughs> cheerleader for these products. I do recommend them to anybody I come across. I recommend FAE over any other product.